Western lawman Tom Smith had a well-deserved reputation for toughness. Smith had a background as a professional boxer and a police officer in New York, but his nickname of Bear River was earned during the Bear River City Riot of November 19, 1868. Tom Smith was the town marshal of the small Wyoming town of Bear River during the riot, which was between a group of vigilantes and townspeople. Smith held his ground and defended the town jail. After the smoke cleared, a number of men lay dead, and many buildings burned to the ground. He would also serve as marshal in Kit Carson, Colorado, before heading to the cow town of Abilene, Kansas. Abilene was gaining a reputation for violence, and a police force with a competent marshal was very much needed. Two lawmen, recommended by the St. Louis Chief of Police, came to Abilene in hope of taming it, but after arriving and learning of the town's situation, they returned to St. Louis on the next train. Thankfully, Tom Smith was there, and he was hired as Abilene's Chief of Police on June the 4th, 1870. Smith quickly made a strong impression on the cowboys visiting Abilene and was known to prefer his fists and natural strength over the use of a pistol. Smith prohibited the carrying of firearms within city limits, a restriction that made him unpopular. He also shut down the red light district of Abilene in early September, the men and women involved in prostitution being exiled to Baxter Springs in Wichita. On October the 23rd, at nearby Chapman Creek, John Shea was killed by his neighbor, Andrew McConnell. Another neighbor, Moses Miles, testified that McConnell had killed Shea in self-defense. However, soon after it appeared that Miles and McConnell were not telling the entire truth about the killing, and a warrant was issued for McConnell's arrest. Bear River Tom Smith was the man sent to collect McConnell. And what happened next would prove to be the last chapter of Tom Smith's career. From the Abilene Weekly Chronicle, Abilene, Kansas, November 3rd, 1870. Horrible Affray. Last week we chronicled a terrible affair, which occurred on Chapman Creek, resulting in the death of John Shea at the hands of Andrew McConnell. McConnell gave himself up, and upon the testimony of a man named Miles, was released. Miles swearing that the act was done in self-defense. But it afterward appeared to some of the neighbors, from unmistakable circumstances, that Shea was not the aggressor, and a warrant was issued for the re-arrest of McConnell. On Wednesday of this week, officers T.J. Smith and McDonald went out to McConnell's dugout to arrest him. Upon reaching the dugout, they found McConnell and Miles. Officer Smith informed McConnell of his official character and that he had a warrant for his arrest, whereupon McConnell shot Smith through the right lung. Smith also fired, wounding McConnell, the two being close together, grappled. Smith, although mortally wounded, was getting the better of McConnell when Miles struck him on the head with a gun, felling him senseless to the ground, and seizing an axe, chopped Smith's head nearly from his body. At this stage of the tragedy, Officer McDonald returned to this place for assistance. A posse was raised and repaired to the scene of the murder, but McConnell and Miles had fled, and up to that morning had not been arrested. They were both wounded, and it is reported were in Junction City last evening. It is hoped that they will be speedily arrested. We give the above-named particulars as we gather them from the reports current in town. The body of Mr. Smith was brought to this place last evening and will be buried at 10 o'clock tomorrow. The sad event has cast a gloom over our town. Our citizens had learned to respect Mr. Smith as an officer who never shrank from the performance of his duty. He was a stranger to fear, and yet in the private walks of life, a most diffident man. He came to this place last spring when lawlessness was controlling the town. He was at once employed as chief of police, and soon order and quiet took the place of the wild shouts and pistol shots of ruffians, who for two years had kept orderly citizens in dread for their lives. Abilene owes a debt of gratitude to the memory of Thomas James Smith, which can never be paid. Although our people will never again permit the lawlessness which existed prior to his coming to the town, 
yet it will be a long time before his equal will be found and all the essentials required to make a model police officer. Sacred be the memory of our departed friend, and green be the turf that grows upon his grave. In years to come, there will be those who will look back to the days when it required brave hearts and strong hands to put down barbarism in this new country. And among the names of the bravest and the truest, none will be more gratefully remembered than that of Thomas James Smith, the faithful officer and true friend of Abilene. From the Leavenworth Times, Leavenworth, Kansas, November 4th, 1870. Terrible affair. Marshal Tom Smith of Abilene murdered. His head is cut off with an axe. We learn from Captain Hanks of the Kansas Pacific of the death on Wednesday last of Tom Smith, City Marshal of Abilene, under the following circumstances. Receiving information that two men whom he desired to arrest were to be found on Chapman's Creek, about 15 miles distant from Abilene, he repaired to the spot and found the parties he was looking for. They resisted arrest, and while the officer was struggling with one of them, the other seized an axe, and it is supposed, while Smith was in a stooping position, struck him on the back of the neck, completely severing his head from his body. Neither of the men have since been seen. There is great excitement among the citizens of the vicinity, and a hunt for the murderers was being vigorously prosecuted at last accounts. The two men who had killed Tom Smith wouldn't escape justice for long. They were both arrested on November the 5th by lawmen James Gainsford and C.C. C. Cooney. The prisoners were brought to Abilene. However, a large crowd gathered at the depot for their arrival, and there was talk of lynching. The murderers would later be tried in Riley County and found guilty. Andrew McConnell was sentenced to 12 years in prison, and Moses Miles sentenced to 16 years in prison. Tom Smith was first buried in an obscure, cheap grave. However, years later, the town of Abilene raised funds to rebury Smith's remains in a more prominent place in the cemetery and erect a fitting grave marker. On Memorial Day, May 30th, 1904, the new monument was dedicated. It reads, Thomas J. Smith, Marshal of Abilene, 1870, died a martyr to duty November 2nd, 1870, a fearless hero of frontier days who, in cowboy chaos, established the supremacy of law.